Today's video will talk about a Victron Smart Battery Sense. Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, today's video, finally we're talking about more technical stuff. Can't wait to share everything with you. I'm working a lot lately with solar power. I was building a couple things and <clears throat> trying new things and, and in today's video we'll talk about a Victron Smart Battery Sense. This one will put into my solar, let me call it generator box DIY uh, assembly. So yeah, this is something I want to put in, I want to show you today. And uh, we'll do this first, then you will get a sneak peek into my generator, what I built and what I want to share with you in the next videos. And you get an idea how, how that might look like. And this, this video is pure focused on the Victron Smart Battery Sense, nothing else. How to put it in, hopefully it's an interesting video for you as well. And in the next videos, I will share more about this technical stuff with you, which is really exciting and I can't wait for it. Let's start with this little guy. The smart battery sense. What are we having here? It's kind of a mess. Please um, don't feel intimidated. What you can see here is this is the battery down here. It's a, an ongoing project, it's not done yet. We have a positive terminal and we have a negative terminal. Those are the terminals we will need because we want to attach the smart battery sense as close as possible to the battery itself. And that, that means having this little friend most likely mounted pretty close to um, the top of this battery and having those two terminal screws connected to the terminals. The great thing about this battery sense is it comes already with a fuse, which you see on the positive side, so I do not have to worry that I put in my own fuse or have to connect it to the fuse box somewhere. That means I just have to connect it and that's it. So it means I'll start with the positive side. I have those terminal screws here uh, which also have a fuse over here and then they go out and connect um, to my other components which I will talk about in the future. But I want to have it not behind the fuse, I want to have it before. So it means as close as possible to the battery itself. I can connect, connect the positive. That's it. The other side I will connect to the negative. What we're seeing already here happening is a blue light blinking. Amazing. Means it has power already. Connected to the battery that I have to write temperature. Um, great thing about this smart battery sensor is also it comes already with double sided tape. So I only have to peel it off and then I have to connect it. And everything else with the cabling and stuff like that, I will do that afterwards. Now we have connected. What I want to do is show you what kind of animation we can get on our smartphone because that's what Victron Energy is really big for and really really good and let's check on the phone. Now we're back and I've already started the Victron app. I can see a couple other components and here on top the smart battery sense which is showing up perfectly. Tap on it, it's the first time connecting. Default pin code is six times zero. And of course it wants an update and we'll do that as well. It's done, great. Now he's in position two. What I wanna do is uh, connect my smart battery sense with my solar charge controller, that the solar charge controller is enabled to use the best possible battery information it can get and with the battery sense it is able to get the temperature but also the voltage the most accurate as possible and according to the website from Victron they say this the smart battery sense is helping to optimize the charging um, capabilities so those are the information we have the voltage and we have the temperature what I want to do is I want to have this joining my existing network so I'm turning the T-box my network here, what I'm using with the other Victron components. And now we can see smart battery sense is transmitting battery, voltage and temperature sense to my other components. Amazing. And those are the other components which are in the same network. When I go to my so a charge controller, it should be able to receive the temperature, which is down here, and also the voltage. Amazing. What's also great with this, if you have a lithium iron phosphate battery, 
It also helps you to configure a low temperature cutoff. But that's all I want to show you and that's just about the smart battery sense. Done. <laughs> so it's a, as mentioned, it's a pretty short video this time. It's really not big of a deal to put this smart battery sense in. And if you have any questions, please feel free to leave some comments and uh, whatever you want to know, ask me in the comments below. But, uh, I'm also happy if you want to stay updated. It will be also a lot of technical stuff coming soon. So um, this is something which I really adore and I really like. So hopefully I can teach you something. If not, I'm happy also get, to get myself more educated. Thank you and cheers! Tschüss!